Hey guys, it's the Project Maker Minute with Chris Lewitt. As you may know, I'm the former number one for Cornell University, pro circuit player, elite junior development coach, and author and educator, author of The Secrets of Spanish Tennis and the Tennis Technique Bible. Well, in previous Project Maker Minutes, we've been talking about some of the philosophy of Tony Nadal, and I just, I'm having a lot of fun going back through my notes and studies with Tony, and I wanted to just complete some of my thoughts on what Tony believes makes a good coach. And I'll give you some direct quotes from, from Tony himself. And he says that the transmission of the transmission, the communication is more important than the knowledge accumulation. Uh, so I love that. This is from the, the legend, Uncle Tony. The transmission is more important than the accumulation of, of knowledge. And I think that's so true. You know, it's uh, like the the late great Nick Boletari used to say, "It's it's not what you know, it's how you say it." You know, or he used to say, "You know, I don't I don't know as much as most coaches, but I know how to I know how to say it, baby." Or he'd say something like, "You know, something to that effect." Nick Boletari, you know, or we know the same thing, but I know how to deliver it, baby. He'd say something like that. And so Tony's sort of saying the same thing. It's it's about how you connect with the player, not necessarily, you know, how much knowledge you have as a coach. So the communication is very important. Uh, direct quote from Tony says, knowledge is good, but the key factor is being a good pedagogue, uh, pedagogue being teacher. So what he's saying is it's not enough just to have, you know, scientific knowledge or technical knowledge. You have to be a good, at the end of the day, you have to be a good teacher. You have to be able to connect with your pupils with your students and you have to be able to transmit the knowledge well in a way that's engaging. That's what makes a great teacher or a great coach. Uh, I mentioned before that Tony believes that you need to be kind, like that's an essential quality that he looks for in a coach, uh, kindness. But interestingly, he says, um, he says closeness, kindness is not incompatible with La disciplina with discipline. Uh, so, this is that the wonderful dual qualities that they that coaches in Spain manage very well. They do very well. It's like a kindness, a friendliness, yet at the same time, a dis providing discipline. You know, we talked about um, being uh, being ex exigent. You know, the word exigent meaning demanding. So it's being kind yet also demanding. If you can find those two qualities in the in the the person to coach your kid, it's it's wonderful because you can develop a closeness. A, um, the coach can be kind and friendly, but also demanding, not a pushover. And Tony says it's fundamental that a kid feels the warmth of a coach. It's fundamental that a kid feels the warmth of a coach. In fact, Tony says it's determinant. He loves that word determinant. So it, it's it's fundamental. It's it's a determining factor that a player feels the warmth of a coach because the journey in tennis is so difficult and there's so many challenges and the kids go through so many ups and downs and trials and tribulations that you need a coach by your side providing that support and warmth. Uh, so very important words from Tony. Uh, he also says, and as we've talked about before, just being kind is not enough. It's very important that a coach be committed. Tony uses that word a lot, committed. It's hard for a kid to improve if the coach is not committed. Committed coaches are the best coaches. And as we've also discussed, Tony mentions that parents or people in the family are often more committed than the coach, even though the coach could be very talented. Usually someone in the family is the most committed of all because after all it's their flesh and blood that they're trying to you know create a champion with so just think uh beautiful philosophy from tony nadal wanted to share that with you guys if you enjoyed this prodigy maker minute please check out my big show the prodigy maker show also please subscribe we're growing this community of tennis learners i think this is the place for intelligent tennis talk and discussion and uh, please join us and help us grow this community thanks guys see you on the next program